So here is an endoscopic view of the disc space after what I thought was an adequate disc prep. Obviously not good enough. Here I am endoscopically removing some loose disc fragments, but you'll notice there's still not enough disc material been removed for adequate end plate prep, or what I would consider to be adequate. Here we are inserting the endoscopic curette down the tubular retractor. This method allows you to have a much larger instrument than if you were just to insert it down the working channel alone, and this is one of the key design elements that we have with Flarehawk. And here I am just working the end plate, removing disc material. Uh, so you've done a much better job. I'll go in here and remove this with the pituitary, some of the loose fragments. But already you can see what a tremendous improvement in what I already thought was a good disc space prep. And here's the end result with bleeding bone. And here we are ready to deploy the cage.